Let's look at sets of four quantum numbers. When I give you four quantum numbers, I define an electron in an atom. I give you an n, an l, an m sub l, and an m sub s. That tells you where in the uh, atom you'll find that electron. So when I have a set of four quantum numbers, some are allowed and some aren't. That is, we know that when we have values of n, only certain values of l are allowed. And for values of l, only certain values of m sub l are allowed. So certain quantum states are not allowed. Let's look at these and decide which are, which are allowed and which aren't. So I have 4, 2, minus 1, 1 half. That's a set of 4 going in the sequence n, l, m sub l, m sub s. So n equal 4, l equal 2. That's fine. l can be any value in integers between 0 and n minus 1. So when l is smaller than n, we're in good shape. So, so far, OK. Minus 1, that's a possible value of m sub l. That's fine, because when l is 2, m sub l goes from minus 2 to plus 2 in integer steps. Minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, and 2 are all possible values. And minus 1 is certainly available. 1 half is one of the possible values of m sub s. So that's fine. So that's an allowed set of quantum numbers. Let's look at the next one. We have 5, 0, minus 1, and 1 half. We have n equal 5, l equals 0. Those are both fine. But for m sub l, we have minus 1. Now, when l is 0, all m sub l can be is 0. So this quantum number here is out of line. M sub L can only be 0 if L is 0. So that's not an allowed set of quantum numbers. This final one here, we have n equal 4. We have L equal 4. Now, the maximum value of L is n minus 1. So n and L can never be equal. So that's already a mistake in the quantum numbers. That's not allowed. And this set of quantum numbers is not allowed. So you have to very carefully apply your rules to see which quantum numbers are, are allowed. That determines which orbitals exist around an atom.